Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today we're gonna be talking about top 5 best camping spots in zombies. Now, I don't know if you understand this, but these are going to be some of the god tier camping spots ever in the history of Call of Duty Zombies. And some of the campers may very well know these spots because they are always on top to find the best camping spots in zombies, right? And say no more, I got you my nibbas. But I want you to comment your favorite camping spot from this video after you finish watching. And if it's an underrated camping spot that you use that is not on the list but you find it ridiculously good let me know in the comments but just know the ones that I have on the list are the god tier best camping spots because the camping spot is generally good you can easily escape it allows you to use everything efficiently guns perks buildables wonder weapons and in black ops 3 zombies even the gobble gums and everything like that and I personally am not a big fan of camping in zombies but once in a while it's really fun to camp and chill out and play zombies if you get what I'm saying and especially it is really Really damn fun to play zombies and camp out and chill out with your friends and number one Juggy commented on my last video which was about 10 best training spots in zombies and he wanted me to do a 10 camping spots video and I did find 10 camping spots but not all of them were super efficient and therefore I decided to stick with five that are the best although I will briefly talk about some extra camping spots in the video and maybe in the future I may shine a light on them with the title such as top five best camping spot that made everyone cream if you get what I'm saying but hey these are all the homies that actually subscribe to the channel and big big shout out to them if you happen to be new on the channel hey make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below so I can feature you in my next video and if you have watched my last video you know I ask you to comment in a random number that I was thinking of and my number was one and only Shohib got it right now for this time if you're an OG subscriber just comment your favorite camping spot from this video after you finish watching it and I may just put you in the next video and really quickly I do apologize for yesterday's stream if you were on it I was really stressed out due to staying consistent with videos and stream on my channel and I was streaming when I had a bum ass headache and on top I was running with an empty stomach shouldn't have done it but I did it and I really appreciate it it if you actually stuck around with me and that really means a lot but coming in at number five we have the giant camping spot now this is an iconic camping spot that you will be very well aware of but the setup in black ops 3 makes it super god tier like camping spot which is just mm. but there's the slightest problem with this spot and that's why it's on a number five spot but this spot is by far one of the best you can train if you leave the spot very easily you got the teleporter to your right and a trap on on the far left side and can 44 as a wall gun that you can pick it up if you run out of ammo now with four players you are going to bang this strategy if everyone has the following setup now even in solo this works really damn good but you want trip mines and the annihilator and this is going to be something you want to use only when you have insta kill do not use I repeat don't ever use this unless you have insta kill but when you have insta kill you might just want to throw your trip mines outside and use the annihilator if you know you are going to play with four players that got your bag this could be a little useful to save your ammo but trip mines and grenades are generally something you want to throw when you get the insta kill as for the gobble gum anywhere but here in plain sight or all cam works the best for the strategy and the best part about this is that those are classic gobble gums and as for your rest of the setup make sure you have monkey bombs dingo with dead wire brm with turn and dredge with blast furnace or you could actually have the wonder waff and i'm pretty damn sure one person will get it if you are playing co-op but essentially put dead wire on your first gun you could replace it with the wonder waff like I said or can 44 and for your second gun have turn on it and as for your mule kick gun have blast furnace and this is going to kill this strategy and one thing to note your third gun should be something that if you uh, if you lose that you wouldn't really have to worry about and to escape this area you simply want to jump off the ledge but the problem is that's where the zombie is gonna come from so you would have to time this out correctly if you know that you're reloading your gun or if you know that you don't have ammo that's where monkey bums and anywhere but here gobble gum or in plate inside gobble gum can be useful so make sure you time this out correctly but coming in at number four spot we have black ops 2 buried now in buried we have a couple of spots the rooftop juggernaut area and a couple of other spots that 
people use that are really damn fun, but nothing beats this spot in my opinion. Juggernaut camping spot is really good, but it's hard to escape that unless you have the paralyzer. And guess what? The only time you want to escape is when your paralyzer is not working and you got a lot of zombies in front of you, right? But that's when you won't be able to escape. So this spot right here has the best escape rod and it works really damn good. With four players or even solo, you can have the resonator and other buildables that can surely help Claymore set up in the corner, uh, time bomb place and the back and you got the Reagan Mark II pack punch and the paralyzer for sure and this is by far the best camping spot in Buried and of course one of the best camping spot in Call of Duty Zombies because if you run out of your ammo and your paralyzer is maxed out hey for every now and then you will see a green smoke in which you can stand in to uh, cool your paralyzer down but if you don't see the green smoke hey guess what you could go back and escape the area and you will be perfectly fine and you can also use your time bomb if you ever go down to return back in time. Definitely love this spot. It is just mm. At number 3 spot, we have Dyrez. Now really quickly, say, just say buy two skills because you seriously don't need them for this map. Now in this map, you have a couple of good spots. For example, the roof, the Galvic Knuckles room, but we also have this giant area which is the best training area, but also you can easily camp here with the Slick Fire and you have a lot of variety. You could train, you could camp, <laughs> or you could be just sitting your ass down like straight up, dead nib and you could be like camping for days on end. You'll have no problems whatsoever. Generally, you want to have N94 as your pack-a-punch gun, claymore save in the corner if you ever need them. If you ever run out of ammo, you can actually use them uh, if you get what I'm saying. Galloc Knuckles, that could be really useful uh, to kill the little pingy type of things whenever they spawn in. I'm talking about the boss round, the trample steam as well, and the slick with fire. That is just... Mm. Essentially, you want to shoot your slick with fire on the ground while you're standing on top so zombies cannot come up there. Uh, it, it acts like the banana clad if you get what I'm saying. You can also use your N94 ammo in the meanwhile and shoot your slugger fire every now and then so you can actually kill zombies. Now this camping spot used to be super OP before slick with fire was patched but nonetheless it is still great and works really damn good and of course if you want to escape jump down train for a bit and get back up to your camping spot. Coming in at number two spot we have Gorod Kurovi Dragon Station camping spots. Basically any dragon station will work but I find this one is much better as none of the zombies will be on fire because at tank station a dragon will come every now and then to breathe fire on zombies if you get what I'm saying and if they are close to you hey you can take some damage and the speed colors one is not the brightest idea because you cannot see the whole thing but the middle one is really good you have the emid a7 as a wall gun that you can have dead wire on or maybe turn and as it's a four round burst weapon you're easily gonna be able to activate your pack a punch ability with a single damn burst on a high ass round and of course the reagan mark 3 which is just mm. you just want to keep on creating black holes and making it turn zombie every now and then and have all chemical as for your gobble gum and you will have zero problems and if you pair this with double tap it's gonna be really damn effective and of course you want to call in the dragon and when you have red screen just turn around or pull up your neba shield and shoot it and make sure your shield is upgraded and if somehow you break it simply take the dragon and fly away and I really like the strategy and at number one spot we have their eyes on draft it has the best training spot and camping spots due to the fact uh, you have the electric bow which is such a powerful wonder weapon bow the escape strategy is nuts and everything is very close and very nearby the trap um, gobble gun machine wall gun buy and everything like that now you can camp wherever the wonder sphere is you can even camp at the teleporter but that's just a little risky because if you want to escape and you uh, you got a rocket test going on basically you won't be able to use your teleporter and if you get a red screen well it can be a little risky but but if you camp in this area, guess what? You can build a shield which can be just in front of you. So every time you break it, you can actually pick it up. It's just going to be right in front of you. Of course, only do that if you want to get a game in just to camp here. Build Ragnarok somewhere else and place them down every time they are fully charged. Have the Kuda with dead wire or turn. Turn is preferred as you're going to use the electric bow most of the time. All chemical as for your gobble gum, electric bow, like I said, trip mines, monkey bombs. And each time you have a red screen, just turn around and your shield will protect you or you could use the wonder sphere which is even better and once you come up in the middle guess what you can use the death ray trap and uh, this is essentially what you want to do when there
there's a panzer and uh, whenever there's a panzer just come up in here use the death ray and kill the panzer with your bow and this is by far the best camping spot ever in Call of Duty Zombies. I don't think there's anyone any any camping spot that comes closer to their eyes on the wonder sphere strategy. So let me know what's your favorite spot in the comments and check out some other videos by clicking the end screen videos right now if you have missed any of them. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you very freaking soon.